Welcome back to another Blender tutorial video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make enemies. And uh, next episode we'll be running over some things like uh, making uh, ladders and things like that. Some different things that were request requested. Uh, I'd like to first off apologize if my mic sound is a little bit shoddy. Uh, I used to be recording with a Blue Yeti microphone. But uh, recently I plugged it in and uh, it, it just didn't work. I updated the drivers, tried checking for solutions online, but it just didn't detect the mic itself, uh, my computer, when I plugged it in. Normally when you plug something in, it'll say, uh, you know, dr uh, device is ready to use, but it just did, it didn't, uh, it didn't detect anything. So uh, I'm recording with my headset. It's a uh, Asteroid 50. I've complained about it in the past. I don't really like it too much. Um, but it's all I have to record with, and I wanted to get some videos out, so. Uh, yeah. First off, I'd like to apologize for my absence. I've started up school again, so I've been pretty busy with that. And I also, uh, did some, uh, some vacationing. I was in, uh, Montreal for a bit. Anyway, so, right off the bat, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I brought in a male base mesh to the scene. And this base mesh was made by Blender Player, uh, find him on blend swap all he's got is this one character but it's a very nice uh, character to start you know using with to adapt for uh, a zombie or something like that so what we're gonna be doing is I'm going to be modifying this guy to become zombie like and I've made him roughly the same skills our character uh, you can see his arms are, are a little bit smaller but uh, I don't think actually maybe we'll make his him roughly same size of our character arms, so it's a little bit more proportionate. And if he has any modifiers, like a mirror, we'd normally want to apply those, but he doesn't. So I'm going to go to layer 2, where I have this guy. I'm going to go select it to grid, and uh, bring him up right here. And uh, I'm going to start modeling this guy. I'm going to go into a time lapse, because I don't want to take too much time just to show how to model this, but, you know, I'm going to do... Uh, you'll be able to see what I do in sped up, and you can just uh, look at it over if you run into some confusion. Basic, basically, I'm going to be turning this guy into a uh, zombie. So, yeah.
Turns out my mic was muted. Whoopsie daisies. We're back. Uh, zombies finished. It's very bad. Uh, not doesn't look so good. There's no uh, face. It's literally just the ambient occlusion with uh, texture on it. And the ears look weird. Nothing's calculated properly. The color's a different color. But oh well, this will do for a quick little game that we're putting together. So I'm going to go cursor to selected. And I'm going to go file, user preferences, add-ons. And I'm going to turn on an animation. I mean rigging. I'm going to turn on rigify. You don't have that on. And I'm going to go shift A, add armature, human made a rig. Now, if we go into uh, uh, the object data, we can turn it to x ray. We're going to call this zombie armature. Go back into the armature, call it zombie armature. Now go into edit mode here, we're going to grab it on the, actually we're, we'll bring it back down to here. Uh, now let's go into edit mode and scale it, I guess we'll, we'll scale it up out of edit mode, roughly to the right size. Now we can go to edit mode and her, turn on x-axis mirror, so that whatever we do on the one side will transfer to the other side. And we can start uh, rigging this guy. So put those knees in the right place. Feet, hands, head, neck, etc. Um, make sure you're switching views every so often so you don't get far and then realize it's actually the wrong way because I've done that a couple of times. Get really far then realize I'm actually off by quite a few blender spaces on one axis. Uh, that's not ever very fun. And uh, if you wanted, you could lower this, this bone count. You could delete some of these bones. I mean, you don't really need three bones for each finger. Because, uh, you know, all the bones it has to calculate is just more, more lag for your game. Uh, so you could reduce that bone count easily if you wanted to, especially for something like a zombie. Um, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to. But to show you what you would do is just... Click on the bone and delete the bone uh, by pressing X. It's just like you would delete a mesh or an object. Uh, that's looking pretty good. Uh, we'll grab these guys here and make sure they're in the right spot. I delete that bone because I never use it. I delete that bone because I never use it. I delete that bone for because I never use it only ever use the foot. Uh, especially for things like uh, like this. Um, and especially for stuff like this, you can delete these bones. I am going to delete some bones just because. Yeah, because we're not ever going to be using that too much. But uh, other than that, no, it's looking pretty good. It's uh, and keep in mind, this bone here, you want it to line up pretty well with the spine, how the spine would be lined up. So it can have a little bit of curve in there. Anyway, uh, so now what we can do is grab this guy, grab that, that guy, with uh, automatic weights. And let's hope for the best with this. If not, we'll have to do it manually. Uh, See what I mean though, we don't really need the whole thing with this. We will have to fix a couple things, uh, but that's quite alright. So, uh, some things I can predict is that this isn't going to pick up the shirt, just the leg. We want it to pick up the shirt a little bit. Uh, this isn't picking up much of the neck. Uh, I bet this is going to get a little goofy as well. Yeah, and I bet and we already saw this one. See how that one's not picking up any of the shirt. So we're gonna go into edit mode on this guy here. We're at the very top, and run through it. So if we select hips, you can see what area it's selecting, and we're gonna select all this uh, and remove. Look what we want and assign. Select the spine. We want the spine to also pick up that, so we'll assign. The spine, 
So I made that rhyme. Chest, select the chest. Again, grab some of that. And assign the chest. Why is the head selected? You know what? The head shouldn't be selected. For chest, it should be like this area. Move. That's what we want. Now if we select it, to remove that again, and then assign it. That's what we want for the chest. Uh, select. Next looking a little bit much. It's a little bit heavy, so we're just going to assign that. Head, we want it to be the entire head. I guess that didn't do anything, did it? Because we're not actually... we got to remove that. Oh, why am I doing this? What am I doing wrong? There we go. And then assign it. So if we select that again, remove, assign. Shoulders looking all right. Oh, wait, wait. No, the shoulders were something that we needed to fix, wasn't it? Uh, eh. You know what? Nah, that's that's good. Uh, hand. Or no, forearm, I think it was. Yes, so this one, we want it to grab some of the hand as well. Oh, it already is. Well, we'll grab that too and assign it. Hand, let's see, select. Hand is not picking up any of the shirt, so we want it to pick up a little bit of the shirt. And, uh, yeah. So now if we try these bad boys out, and I think it applies. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's right. It's only the... It doesn't copy it for both sides when doing that stuff, but you can see a lot better already. So now we have to do the exact same thing, but for the other side. So let's go uh, forearm, select that. I don't, I don't actually think we did do that. Yes, we did. Hand, select. Oops, there we go. Assign the hand. And that should be good because the rest of the stuff was in the middle. So now what we can do is we can go in to animation. Come on. Why is my computer being slow? Sorry, I was stretching my back. Ah. Go to layer 2. Make sure we're in orthographic and not perspective. Uh, want texture to be on. Why isn't textures picking up? Oh, it is. It's just we actually have fog on now. So, or mist, I'm sorry. Uh, so we're going to go to frame one and I'm going to make some walking animations. So this first leg is going to be the one that's up first, and I believe walking. You know what? Zombies don't walk. They, they limp. So we're going to see what we can do for limping animation, I should say. So one leg, probably this one, is going to be back. We want it to be twisted uh, to make it look like it's a little, uh, you know, messed up. And that looks pretty good. Uh, that's the other thing we forgot to fix was the foot. Uh, so obviously with zombies, the hands, they gotta be up. That looks alright. And also, usually that head is a little bit crooked. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be frame one. So we'll go rotation. And uh, at frame 30, uh, and we will adjust this later. I guess we'll go frame 10, actually, seems like something reasonable. And then we can adjust that. Make 
we'll go rotation. So frame ten. Oops. It's not changing there. No, we want this one to actually be like frame twenty. And at frame ten. That's what we want. Oh, I didn't save it. We want that to be like right there. And then hit rotation. So it'll be like stepping down, then back. And then back to here by 30. 